<laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Can I your attention, please? So, welcome everyone. Uh, we're going to do our invocation with Councilman Evans, and Councilman Bird will do our pledge of allegiance. Let's pray. God, our Father, our strength, and our Redeemer, thank you for the day for allowing us to be here to conduct the business of the city. Please be with us, give us sound hearts and sound mind so that we can make great decisions. In Jesus Christ, name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I well, certainly want to welcome everyone to this evening's meeting. Uh, we'll go straight to public comments. Is there anyone interested in public comments? Is there anything online? No. Okay, I hear none. We will now move to the adoption of the minutes for October 18, 2022. Move that we adopt those minutes as they are written. No changes. Second. Move and second. All approved. Aye. 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 We will now move to old business. There is no old business. So uh, we'll now move to new business. New business is home-based business licenses. G-I-G-A-I-A-A -A -A owner Todd Bird, 403 St. Marlowe Drive. Do we have any of those? Are, are any, any, any here? No, I think I've been this business. Okay, how about KZM supply owner Kelly Mankovich, 105 St. Marlowe Drive. Castle Radio, I've reviewed both of these. They seem to be appropriate. They have to get attached to the appropriate letters from their various homeowners associations. I, I move that we adopt and approve both of these petitions as they are written. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We will now move to OPEB Trust Ordinance and Participation Agreement. Councilman Wright and City Attorney Titans. The City Attorney Titans is not with us tonight. She's out with the flu, but uh, this is the uh, the, the agenda item is to vote for us to approve uh, the OPEB trust that we have been uh, working on for uh, several months now. And so I do have a motion here. So we make sure, and Krista, I have a written motion here this time, so I'll pass it down to you, but I'll, I'll, I'll read it just for the sake of the meeting. Uh, I move to approve the OPEB ordinance and participation, participation agreement. This motion includes affirmation of the parameters of the program as follows. Pre-65 retirees who meet the rule of 80, age plus years of service, shall receive medical and prescription insurance and $10,000 life insurance. The medical and prescription insurance will terminate at Medicare eligibility age 65. These coverages are to be provided to employees only, no spouse of dependent coverage, with the city paying 100% of the premiums for the same. Finally, this motion also includes the authorization for the mayor and staff to execute all of the documents necessary to establish and carry out the OPEB trust. All right, so we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any conversation or discussion? Yeah, I, I do want to say that um, I think this is really a good thing that we're doing. Uh, it, it really, in my mind, it really rewards long time employees, and, and, and that's something that we really appreciate. Uh, it makes our life easier, it makes our department head's life easier, and it really um, helps us keep good employees that uh, provide great service to our citizens. You know, I think a, a reward like this is something that's very fair. So. Okay. Do we have any other comments? Okay, so we'll move to a motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. We will now move to our second, our uh, agenda item number four, probation and rehabilitation services agreement, councilman Wright and municipal court clerk Cockrell. We'll let uh, Sarah give us a little update here, but this is a, an agreement that we have to renew every five years between uh, the city of Centerville and the judge through the municipal court relates to our probation with or rehabilitation services. Yes, sir. Thank you, Madam Council. Um, this is a like. Councilman Mark just said it's the Probation Re Rehabilitation Services Agreement that we have to renew every five years between the city and the judge. It's basically what our judge expects of our probation services. And we have to provide it to 
the Council of the State every five years. It's the same agreement that we signed five years ago. The only corrections that were made were a few grammatical changes. Uh, City Attorney Tidings has already reviewed it. And so I'm just asking for authorization for the mayor and city attorney Tiny to sign the agreement and then we return it to me so that I can have the judge sign it and we'll submit it to the state by the end of the year. Thank you, Sarah. I did ask you this earlier just to clarify. There were, there were a couple of uh, grammatical changes made, but the fee schedule is exactly the same. So it hasn't changed. The content has not changed. Just a, just a couple of tweaks to some of the language. So uh, that being said, I move that we uh, authorize uh, Mayor Harvey and City Attorney Tidings to sign this agreement and execute it appropriately. Second. Okay, we have a, we have a motion and a second. Any, any further discussion? Okay, we'll go uh, go for a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. This motion is passed. Thank you. And I'll come to my most favorite part: the comments from the council. So we'll start with council, uh, Councilman Post One. Uh, we had a very successful uh, ball festival this past weekend. Uh, I was out there uh, in the morning. Um, lots of, of vendors were there. Uh, we, uh, I saw just tons of people. The parking lots were full, and, and I had reports that, that went on this pretty much the same all day long. Um, and we, uh, so thank you to everybody who's involved in that. Um, it's great to see so much participation and so much uh, great usage of, of uh, Center Park. Um, the only other uh, uh, item that I wanted to uh, <coughs> say is um, Election Day is one week from today, so I urge everybody to get out and vote. Um, it's very important uh, that we have input into how our state and Urge you to get out there, learn about the issues, learn about the people. And vote. Thank you, Councilman. Number two. Nothing for me tonight. Nothing for me tonight. Well, I guess I don't have anything tonight either. I did want to say uh, same thing. Jumpy Bird said. That's the advantage of going first. Yeah, yeah, but, but really appreciate all the efforts for the fall festival this weekend. Um, I was out there for a little while also. Uh, folks who are just enjoying walking around and visiting the vendors. Uh, it was a good time. That's one of the one of the best events that we put on here in the city. It's coming to be. So, thank you. Thank you. So uh, I'd like to also echo the uh, great effort and work of our department heads, security, and as well as our uh, fire people, everybody was out uh, helping out with the uh, uh, with the fall festival. It was really a really great time and, and it was safe. That's one of the things I heard the most from the vendors as well as the people who participated and that came out is that they felt safe in Centerville and in our park. So that was really good. Uh, the vendors were very happy that uh, that we did it all the way around the park and so they, they, was, they covered every bit of sidewalk that we had. It was perfect. It was a great range. Um, so we did offer candy to the children uh, out here on um, Halloween, and uh, we had a, we had a real great time. Uh, the mayor council was out there handing out candy, and so we had quite a few young folks come out. Uh, we're hoping to continue doing that every year. I think it's something that's enjoyable for them and us. Um, we have a new employee here tonight with us. Okay, so uh, we welcome him to our city. His, he is uh, a new lieutenant, Flores. So we're currently welcoming you to our city. Thank you. All right. So uh, that's all we have, and uh, this meeting is now adjourned. Oh, that's adjourned. Oh, he didn't have to do that. Can you just get a promotion, Chief? <laughs>